Turning now to some other headlines for you, a bill that would allow you to carry a firearm in public without a permit is moving forward tonight. The Georgia Senate passing it today on a strict party line vote. 11 Alive's Doug Richards explains whether we could see similar movement in the state house. Bills eliminating the permit requirement to carry firearms in Georgia have languished at the Capitol because even some Republicans viewed them as too extreme until this year. They want to protect themselves from the criminals who are committing the crimes. Constitutional carry would eliminate the need for a government permit to carry firearms. It would still be illegal for convicted felons to carry or own weapons, as well as anybody adjudicated to have a mental illness. Republicans say it's to help Georgians defend themselves against violent crime. It's a young mom who just heard on the radio her car, in her car that there was another carjacking at her neighborhood gas station. What about those folks who might have mental problems, or those folks who have been involved in family violence? Senator, if, if you're a law-abiding citizen, then you can, carry, you can carry your weapon. How do you know? Democrats argued that eliminating the permit eliminates an important check on folks who aren't allowed to have guns to begin with. Well, the real irony of this bill is that it directly protects criminals. Critics say Georgia courts denied at least 5,200 gun permit applications last year. I am curious what you equivocate and, and assign the rise in murder in Atlanta to if the gun laws have not the changed the last 24 months. The important thing to note, months. Senator, is that that's because we have no laws around guns, so everyone freaking has one. Republicans in the state Senate passed constitutional carry on a strict party line vote. Won't be a big surprise if the same thing happens in a few days in the State House of Representatives. Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.